I'm getting the binding ready for another rag rug. So this is my loom. And I'm going, this is, I'm doing a white behind for the binding. I'm going to be doing, say, like a gray, black, white kind of rug. And so what you do is, obviously, we're going to need a lot of the big strips that go up and down. I'm going with uh, white as the background. So you start one loop um, in one end of one of the strips. Don't do a slip knot, so you tie it so it's not a slip knot. And then I've already started some of them. Each one you take, I got a little slit in each end. And let me see if I could hold the camera here. And so when I do the next one, I line up the holes and I bring the other piece through and keep feeding it through without jostling the camera. <laughs> feeding it through, so then we join them. Now you can cut off a little bit of excess if you feel it's a little bit too much, but a lot of that's gonna go in behind the rug anyways. So then, I'll just show you now, Let's see if we can do this. So you loop it one side, I'll start with the top here. So we start looping it very close, the first one, and then you just go, and keep looping it in and around. Oh, I'm trying to look through the camera and do it. And you go up and down. And you want to pull it a little bit tight. You want to have a good um, a good section here. You want to have it nice and tight because then it gets sucked in to the rug better. It won't be hanging out the sides. And then you keep going until you get to the end. And then you create another loop when you get right over. Now, if I start this one up here, your last loop should be down the opposite end. And that's where you would start your rug down there or you would start your rug here. 